All right, O for octopus. All right, um, you will need Q-tips, glue, these little buggers, which you'll color on, and O, which I think will be green. I don't remember. <clears throat> Some markers or color crayons. <clears throat> and your packet. And a piece of paper. Okay. It will not matter what side you glue your O on if it's a colored piece of paper because an O doesn't have a right side or a wrong side. Mine does because I colored it. So obviously <clears throat> I have to color the side that I didn't color. I mean, I have to glue the side I didn't color. Okay. Let's see if I can't settle that on there. Of course not. Um, Maybe that side. Nope. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it is not gripping it. There we go. That's better. Of course, it's helpful if you can see what I see. Huh. This O is giving me troubles. Flip your row over. I'm going to put it near the top. Well, sort of in the middle near the top. Okay. All right, the next part, you're going to have some paper. Okay. And some eyeballs. You guys are going to have special scissors, all right, <clears throat> okay, and now we have to figure out how I'm going to show you how to cut this, so bear with me, Let's see if this will work. hands. Oh. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to color these. Right. So, color away. Oops, I totally should have moved this piece of paper. Let's do that. Alright, so you're going to color your pieces of paper. colors. So, it's just really colorful. See? It's not beautiful, but it's colorful. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing on the next sheet. You don't have to color it in. Just want to make sure you've got some color on your sheet of paper. Let's do this first. Okay? It's like scribbling. Okay? And your tray will give you a texture. Okay? Then you see these fold marks. You're going to take a regular pair of scissors. 
and you are gonna cut them. Now you're gonna have special scissors that make a special cut. Um, I used to have those scissors. I can't find them anywhere, but you have them at the classroom. I don't have them here, okay? So you're gonna cut so that it makes a weird kind of shape. You can choose whichever one you want, okay? And you're gonna cut. And you're gonna cut. So then you'll have these squiggly kind of arm type thing. You need eight squiggly arms. I have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. You'll have nine also. And all this stuff right here that I'm pushing off to the side goes in the garbage can. All right. Now, an octopus is called an octopus because it's got, it has eight arms. Oct means eight. I have nine arms, so I have to toss one of my arms. So, see ya. Now I have eight arms, okay? Oct means eight. Octopus means he's got eight of something. Just happens that he has eight arms. Okay, so there's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you'll put your octopus arms on like this. <clears throat> Okay, and then you will have these little circles. Octopus have suction cups. And so you'll have these little circles that you will have colored and you'll stick on suction cups. Okay, you should have nine for each one. But if you only want to do two, you can do two. Doesn't matter. Did I say nine for each arm? You should have three for each arm. Mix this up a little. I'm gonna do two. Eh, maybe I'll do three sometimes. Nothing is always perfect. So, maybe one of his arms is missing a suction cup. Come on. There we go. And there you have an octopus with eight arms. 
All right, and then you need your O is for octopus. Let's see, it starts there, kind of ends right there, doesn't it? Yeah? And then we'll do that. Okay. Oh, it's for octopus, and then you can use. Should we use purple? Or green? Green would be nice. Whatever you choose. Okay, put your name. And then. Oh. Is for octopus. Okay, when you're done, put your stuff on the drying rack, put your markers and your crayons away, throw your q-tip and your garbage away, And you're done.